Hello, everyone. I just want to take a quick moment to share some very important information with you. Did you know only 54% of black males graduate from high school compared to 75% of white males and 75% of Asian? And then out of the ones that do make it to the 12th grade, two and a half percent of those are suspended before graduation. Why do I say that? Because I think it's important to know where our young people are going and, and what influence we have over them. The Bible says in Psalms 127 verse 4 that a child born to a young man is like an arrow in a warrior's hand. So what does that mean? That means that we have to be aware of where we are shooting these arrows if we take the time and enjoy the pleasure of creating a child, then we have to take the responsibility to guide them through life. You ha I mean, think about it. When you shoot an arrow, you could shoot it in the ground and it'll go down. You could shoot it straight across and it'll stay the same and it will remain a statistic. Or you could shoot it up so it can be progressive but that takes effort. You know, I've always wanted to be a minister, but for a long time, I didn't do it because I was so worried about my inner thoughts and what I was focused on and how bad that would look to God. And then one, God, one day, God said to me, stop worrying about what's wrong and start looking at what's right. See, the only thing really I can do for another individual is when they look at my life, they got to see good. They got to see progression. They got to see enjoyment. They got to see the love that I have for life and they got to want it. I can't make anybody do anything, but I can inspire them and I can give them inspiration by them looking at my life. Think about your kids. How do you expect your kids to do any better when you're doing wrong? How can you expect your kids to read when you never read? If you're looking at the Housewives of Atlanta and the Kardashians and all of that, how are you going to criticize your kids for listening to rap music? And not, not all rap music is bad. Look at Kendrick Lamar. I don't know if you saw him on the Grammys, but his performance was phenomenal and he had a strong message. How am I going to criticize Beyonce for what she did at the Super Bowl and I'm doing what I do? So instead of me focusing on them and looking for the bad, look for the good. What am I doing to inspire young people? They need us. See, I think everyone, not everyone, but a lot, has forgotten the journey is part of the gift. Man, so please try to be an example and inspire our young people. Live your life right. And that will encourage other people to live with love. Remember, God loves you and so do I.